In this video, we are going to look about the field block technique. Field block is the local infiltration technique in which local anesthesia is injected in the near large terminal nerve branch. As usual, this procedure will begin by taking the medical history of the patient and a routine hand washing and gloving technique. All this should be done under sterile protocols. For this procedure, you need a pair of clean gloves, lignocaine injection and 25 or 30 gauge needle and then alcohol and rub. Anesthesia needs lot of experience and user variance for the desired outcome. Local anesthesia in field block should be given in a circumscribed manner. To drop your anesthesia in the syringe, attach the large bore needle to your syringe and aspirate 3 to 5 cc of air. Inject the air into the anesthetic bottle before withdrawing the anesthetic. Carefully recap your needle using single handed scoop method and prevent needle stack injury. Exchange for a smaller 25 or 30 gauge needle. Push out any air bubbles directing needle upwards towards the ceiling. In this, we use the technique of injecting the anesthesia in the wound edges at the dermal subcutaneous layer where the pain fibers reside. Start at one apex and deposit small amount in the subcutaneous tissue from within the wound, not to the intact epidermal layer. Penetrating intact skin is painful. Check for the vascular cannulation. In this, after injecting the anesthesia in the site, you have to do withdrawal method. While withdrawing, if you get blood, then you are in a wrong site. If you withdraw blood, it means it is the vein area. You should not inject the anesthesia in the vein. So, you have to change the position. Then you have to continue the procedure. Without taking the needle out, you have to advance the needle along one own end and deposit the anesthetic before retracting back into the skin. Then re-enter the anesthesia in the leading segment of the skin and continue the process circumferential to the entire wound. In the field block, anesthetic is infiltrated to the subcutaneous area surrounding the operative field. The needle is inserted at the two point and the anesthetic solution is injected along four line walls that surround the area of the anesthetized. The shape of the anesthetic field can be modified by changing the number and the direction of the anesthetic walls. Depending on the size of the incision, you may opt any of the techniques discussed above. During anesthesia, the patient is used to a visualized trauma. Experience matters in anesthesia and note the time to perform the task efficiently. Thank you everyone.